Hey, Fisher Kids, it is so great to see you, and I can't wait to share today's Bible story with you. I think you're going to really like it. Oh, hey, Pascal. What's up? Hey, Pastor Steve. This is terrible. I'm so lost, and I can't seem to find my way back. This is no good. No good at all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Pascal. Let me see if I can help you. Um, what are you looking for? Well, I'm trying to find my way back to God. You see, I disobeyed God and I told a really big lie to my little brother. I said that all of our cheese had spoiled. And then when my brother left, I ate all of the cheese myself. Now I feel really horrible for what I did. And what's even worse is that I feel really far from God right now. So I'm trying to find my way back to God. Oh, I see, Pascal. So you disobeyed, and now you feel really far from God. But you know what? That reminds me of two people who are in today's story. Their names are Adam and Eve, and the same thing happened to them. They disobeyed and felt far from God. But you know what? They learned something really valuable, that when we disobey, Jesus brings us back to God. And that's our Bible point for today. I can't wait to hear the story of how Jesus can help bring me back to God. Me too. So let's jump right in to today's story. God gave Adam and Eve a big garden filled with trees that had delicious fruit. Just imagine the biggest garden in the world filled with all kinds of trees that are covered with delicious fruits. That means there were apple trees, pear trees, cherry trees, orange trees, lemon trees, and plum trees. I bet there were even walnut trees in the garden. Can you think of any other trees that might have been in the garden? God showed Adam and Eve that he loved them very much. He showed them that he loved them by sharing this beautiful garden with them. He gave them one rule to obey, so they could show God that they loved him too. You can eat fruit from any of the trees in the garden, except this one, said God. If you eat fruit from this tree, you will die. Yikes! That sounds like something that God really wanted them to hear and understand so that they would know what would happen if they didn't do as he asked. Now. God has an enemy. His name is Satan. Satan came into the garden looking like a tricky snake. Did you know that testing and research is being done to see if snakes have the ability to learn? Scientists don't really know for sure if they can learn or if it's just instinct. But one thing we do know is that the snake in the garden was very tricky. He lied to Adam and Eve. God's rules are silly, Satan said. You won't die if you eat this fruit. You will be wise and happy like God. What did the snake say about God's rules? Did he say God's rules are silly? What does a painter do when he gets cold? He puts on another coat. <laughs> you know you liked it. Why did the chewing gum cross the road? It was stuck to the chicken's foot. Funny. Why do sharks swim in salt water? Because pepper would make them sneeze. Albert out. Peace. His name is Satan. Satan came into the garden looking like a tricky snake. Did you know that testing and research is being done to see if snakes have the ability to learn? Scientists don't really know for sure if they can learn or if it's just instinct. But one thing we do know is that the snake in the garden was very tricky. He lied to Adam and Eve. God's rules are silly, Satan said. You won't die if you eat this fruit. You will be wise and happy like God. What did the snake say about God's rules? Did he say God's rules are silly? Do you think God's rules are silly? Well, Adam and Eve forgot 
that God loved them. That slithering snake was so tricky. He made Adam and Eve forget all about God's love. And so Eve listened to Satan. The fruit looked yummy, and so she ate some. She gave it to Adam, who ate some too. Oh no, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Before, they were glad to see God and talk with him, but now they were afraid of God. It was sad. God said, life will be hard and one day you will die. Because they disobeyed, they could not live with God in the garden anymore. They listened to that tricky snake, Satan instead of listening to what God told them. And they had to leave the big garden that they shared with God. Doesn't that just make you want to cry? I'm sure it made God want to cry, but God still loved Adam and Eve. He made a promise that they would live with him again. God said, I will send you a savior. He will fight against my enemy, Satan. The Savior will bring you back to me. Can you think of a time that maybe you disobeyed? We all disobey God, but Jesus still loves us. Do you know who that Savior will be that God is talking about? Jesus is the Savior that God promised. Jesus fights against all sin and evil. When we disobey, Jesus brings us back to God. And that's our story. Oh, I get it now. When we disobey, we separate ourselves from God. But Jesus is kind of like our map. Actually, he's better than this map. Jesus brings us back to God. That's right, Pascal. God loves us so much, he sent his son to be our savior. And that's our Bible point for today. When we disobey, Jesus brings us back to God. Phew, I'm so glad that when I disobey, Jesus is my savior. My heart feels a lot better, but there's still one big problem. I ate way too much cheese, and now my tummy is feeling pretty terrible. I wish somebody had saved all that cheese from finding its way into my belly. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine, Pascal. Have an adventurous week, everyone. Adventure Kids, this is the part of the show where you send in your questions to me, Jake, and I answer them. So let me grab my mailbag. Hi Jake, if your family is Christian, does that make you a Christian? From Abby. That is an awesome question. Being a Christian is a personal decision. That means that no one else can make that decision for you. Being a Christian is simply trying to live your life the way Jesus calls us to. And you do this because you believe Jesus died for your sins to rescue you. So being in a Christian family doesn't make you a Christian, but it does help you to be surrounded by people who love Jesus. Good friends and family who love Jesus encourage you to be more like Jesus, and they help lift you up when you fail too. Awesome question. Hi Jake, can you do the whisper challenge from Samantha? That is an awesome question. Let's find out. All right, so whisper challenge. Jake's gonna put on these headphones and I'm gonna say a phrase. I'm gonna whisper a phrase that he won't be able to hear. And we're gonna see if he can guess what the phrase is. Can you hear anything? Can you hear me? Okay, ready? See the whole thing. Jesus. Jesus loves you. Yay! <laughs> Good job. So if you have a question for me, Jake. So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website takeawaywithjake.com and just, just play it. So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, send in, send it, send it in.
So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website takeawaywithjake.com and I'll be happy. <laughs> so remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website takeawaywithjake.com and I'll be happy to answer your question right here on the show. Wow, 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 wow,